Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook. Today we're going to be making... We're making mushroom burgers. Um, if anybody watched the uh, What's in the Bag episode 1, you'll have seen that I mentioned that I was going to make mushroom burgers and this is them. Using portobello mushrooms as the star of the show. Not very often do I make... Uh, vegetarian meals, vegan meals. Uh, we are meat eaters in my household, uh, with the exception to this. We love roasted portobello mushrooms. Now, admittedly, we normally have them with a nice steak, um, but I've altered the recipe and uh, we're going to make burgers from them. Never ever wash your mushrooms they are like sponges um that goes for any kind of mushroom really if you you have you can brush them off with a a, a, a damp uh kitchen towel or you can do what i'm doing here and you can actually peel back a layer of them once you've done that you want to pop them in an oven proof dish now again just to be absolutely honest with you um, and again, to show once again that I am not a professional cook, chef, whatever you want to uh, say, um, I do this backwards. So, I chop up the garlic to go into the, the mushrooms, then I salt and pepper them, uh, and then I drizzle the olive oil over them. What should have happened, uh, and a little bit more preparation and thought process, um, should have been should have olive oiled them first, both sides, so that they're nice and coated. Then I should have put salt and pepper all over them. Again, both sides to make sure they're nice and coated. Then the garlic should have went into them. But, if you watch, I do it completely backwards. <laughs> but, um, that doesn't mean that I'm not the, the, the fun guy in the room. Oh, sorry, that was a bad, bad dad joke, that. Very bad dad joke. So, um, with that bad dad joke, I want to welcome you to the channel if you're brand new. Um, uh, if you do like what you see or you've watched my videos but you've not subscribed yet, if you can, push that subscribe button. Costs you nothing but means the world to me. Uh, and while I'm struggling with that, I just want to say that I've also created a single dad cookbook uh, uh, Facebook page where I put on uh, that it's a, an area where we can all share our pictures. You can pop them on there, um, copy me in, tag me in to the recipes that you guys have made. Uh, from my channel and we or got any questions that you want to ask about uh, the food that you've seen on the channel anything like that uh, put it on there and I want that to grow as a community because you guys mean the world to me uh, and as such I want to give a shout out to Lorna Lennon Linda Hale is it Hales I want to say um, Sue Porter and Sandra Brown being the first four Facebook friends of the single dad's cookbook um, i'm hoping more of you will join us as we progress on this journey now on to uh the dry mix for these uh mushrooms just to let you know they were popped in the oven uh, to roast for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees fahrenheit uh, celsius it's about 350 fahrenheit into the, this, I've got a cup of plain flour. I've put in some smoked paprika, salt and pepper. That is it into the, the, the first dry rub, if you will. Give that a bit of a mix. Uh, so it's all incorporated. Then you just pop that to the side. After mixing it, give it a shake. Why not? <laughs> just to make sure it's all in there. And there you go. All fully incorporated. Next, we go on to the the outer casing so into a, a bowl i'm pouring in a cup of breadcrumbs uh, again these were on the what's in the bag video i'm going to add in some salt and some pepper 
And then a little twist. Uh, again, I understand that if you want to keep this vegan, then you want to leave the Parmesan cheese out. But if you do want that extra little kick, um, that extra background flavour, um, then the Parmesan cheese is ideal for this. And again, you want to put in a dessert spoon. Um, you don't want it overly cheesy. You want it just in the background as a gentle kiss to the dish. So we've got that into there. And then again, you just want to give that a bit of a mix. So give that a mix and then we are good to go. The next thing we're going to add in is we're going to grab an egg and we're just going to whisk up the egg just so we, um, we've we got that as, as the overall binding agent. So put that to side. Favourite little orange bowl. Crack in an egg. Dispose the shell. Give it a whisk. And that is your dredging station. All good. All set up. All ready to go. Oh, give that a good beating. Not going to say any jokes there. Okay, so mushrooms have come out of the oven. Roasted, like I said, 15 minutes. Um, do not do what I am about to do here um, and touch them straight away. Yeah, don't do that. They are ridiculously hot. Um, so much so that... When I finally engaged a little bit of common sense, I grabbed a fork just to pour out any excess liquid. The reason I'm doing this, um, now I'll be honest, if I was just having these on their own, I'd have left that liquid in. That's all just flavour profiles, but I want them to be semi-dry. Now you could leave that and hopefully it would absorb back in because you're going to leave them to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes as well. So you can then handle them and they're not going to just... Um, you don't want them just to suck up on all the flour and clump. That's why you want to sort of drain them a little bit. Now, I'm just going to do one. Now, I never, ever profess to be a professional cook. I've never worked in a kitchen. Um, I've never, I'm not a chef. I've, I've not, that's not never been my um, career path. And this shows you that I'm not lying because dredging, you always start with one dry hand, one wet hand, and I start off with good intentions, and straight away, I'm trying to dunk the uh, dry hand into the wet. So, uh, I'll just leave that there for a second. <laughs> so, no matter how many times I do this, I always, always mess it up. And all I'm doing is um, I've the, plain fl the, the plain flour mixture into the egg, make sure it's all coated, into the breadcrumbs, make sure that's all coated, back into the egg, then back into the breadcrumbs. At this point, you can then deep fry the mushrooms if you, if you want. You could air fryer the mushrooms if you want. Um, I'm shallow frying because it's the equipment that I've got. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm popping them in that. You want that oil to be fairly hot, probably uh, in excess of 300 degrees because you want to build up a crust and you also want it to cook through without burning it. No point in putting all that flavour then just burning. So here we go. We've got the oil. You can see it's starting to smoke. Let's pop in the, the mushrooms. There you go. You can see it's starting to sizzle straight away. This is another reason. Obviously, the water, if there was still lots of liquid in the mushrooms and it hits the oil, it would start to sputter and, and spit out everywhere. Oil and water, not a great combination. So that's why we keep them nice and dry. And then what we're going to do is we are going to let that sit and we're just going to turn them over. And there we have it. 
they were they're beautiful golden. We're going to let them cook through there. So as these are cooking away, I just want to say to you guys, I know I, I say it on every video, um, if you can, comment down below um, where you're from. It, 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 it's still, and I say this every time, it blows my mind where you guys are, are watching these videos from. Um, and that's the, the one thing that it does... Um, keep me coming back and keep doing these videos and I, and I do try things and I hope you like the what's in the bag and maybe showing you what I'm, I'm cooking uh, on those nights uh, I try to do the short videos but it's the feedback from, from you guys that will tell me if you want to watch something if you don't want to watch something the, the Facebook's there for you guys to show me what you have made um, I got the the people telling me what I can make for the mince, which is great. That's that's coming up tomorrow, so I'll, I'll see what I've I finally decide on there. Um, and that's what this was. In the year that this has been going, just slightly over a year, I've always said this is a community, and it's nothing without you guys. So, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I love every single one of you. Okay. So now it's the the plating up the burger. Into the bowl, everything's been cleaned obviously, into the bowl, I've just cut up a little bit of onion, uh, fresh onion, if you've got some gherkins, finally chop one of them in instead, and it's almost like, a, I want to say a, a rip off of a, a, a famous uh, burger sauce, but this is an easy one, mayonnaise, uh, tomato ketchup, bit of fresh onion, just as a different flavour profile, Onto a couple of bread rolls, whatever rolls you you want. I've just got some uh, tomatoes. You can put lettuce. You can have it make it fancy. You could make um, a nice relish with this. You you could go all out just for the purposes of this. It was late at night, so we just threw on some uh, tomatoes and some of the sauce. Then we plated up the burgers. And we had it with some chips. And I'm just placing that face down. And there you have it. There is my version of a mushroom burger. All in all. And I can honestly say these were delicious. Absolutely delicious. Um, there's me trying to tidy up a bit. Guys, say it once this video. I've said it probably a million times. I love every single one of you. I hope you're taking care of yourselves out there and each other. From my family to yours. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Single dad, sign